you know, I got to pick my son up from work and, you know, and I, and I got, you know, my, my, my son and daughter, my baby get off football practice at this and this and this and, you know, my daughter's going to be home. So, no, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm going home. So, days after that, you know, had passed and was like, okay, well, you know, let's make some plans, you know. And I was like, he was like, I, I really need a tour guide. Could you be my tour guide? And I was like, of course I'll be your tour guide. You know, he's never really been to California. Um, he's only been here one time before. He's not in the entertainment business, so. <laughs> how about that? That How refreshing is that? You know, because I meet so many of them motherfuckers. It's ridiculous now. You know, all from stage hands to, you know, motherfuckers that's on some casting couch type. Anyway. Um, so, uh. Excuse me. Don't get too much. Let me break up the monotony. And I gotta do me a little bit of this. Hold on. I just love this. Oh my god. It got dragon's blood in it too. I showed you guys this the other day. I keep it here. I keep this one. And I keep um, my ultra common mist right here. At my little workstation <laughs> right here. I'm diverting. Because I was getting ready to say some things I shouldn't. Um, so, um, anyway. Uh, but, uh, so, you know, we've been talking and everything. And, you know, we've been going back and forth and whatnot. And, you know, so he's like, this past weekend, you know, he really wanted to hang out. And, you know, what do you want to do? Let's, you know, let's go and let's ride and let's go and see. And which, that's what I want to do, too. You know, I haven't really taken my car for, like, no serious long drives or nothing. And I want to do that. And he has a very nice fucking car, too. He was like, oh, my God. He, You know, when, 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 when we met up in, um... February, remember how I was telling you guys about that? And he was like, this is a spaceship. So, you know, and now that he's here and he, his, you know, his vehicle and stuff is here and he has his stuff here and he's like, you know, we can go on my ride or your ride, it don't matter. We can switch rides. I was like, shit, hell yeah, let me drive that motherfucker for a couple of days. You can take this pussy I got and I'll take that for a couple of days. So we've been kind of playing around with that. So, anyway. So, uh, bottom line is, you know, he wants to spend some time and everything. And the other night, you know, we really had a talk and it was on a whole different level. You know what I mean? It was a whole different feel. It was like, I felt every letter, you know, I felt every word. It was like, <clears throat> it's like he was connecting with my soul, you know, and we were, it was on a whole different vibe, you know? And he was like, well, you know, Tina, I came down here and. You know, and I really want to be with you. A brother want to be with you, you know. And, um, you know, I'm seeing all this on Facebook. And, you know, and I'm playing the background like, you know. And I don't want to play the background. I, I, it's like, I'm going to be with you. You know, what, what, what do I need to do? What do I need to do to be your man? I'm willing to do that. I'm here. What do I need to do? What do you need? Girls... Listen, <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, and I'm, you know, we're, we're, we're conversing, I'm in the sauna, butt naked, okay, and, you know, and I'm in there for 40, I would, listen, I was in there so long talking to this man, it went to 60 minutes and I reset them motherfuckers, you understand, I mean, it was, the vibe was just shoot to kill, the heat, the aura, I had incense and shit burning in the motherfucking background, baby. Oh, my God. Look, check this out. Yoni egg in place. And I'm like, you know, nigga, I felt like on three hang up. On some real shit, nigga. I took it all the way back to 1987, my nigga. I was like, oh, my God. We was vibing on a whole different level. It was like. I was like, oh, my God. And then reality began to set in, and it's like, how do I, how do I welcome this man? And when I tell you this is a man, a, a, a man that ain't bullshitting, that's ready, okay? This fly, oh, my God, please. Oh, my goodness. 
go away. This fly is in here, like, really messing with me. He messing with my feet. And it's like he's just sitting on my feet, like, chilling, like, I'm listening to, like, what we talking about. If you don't find you something to do, please go away. Um, so, anyway. So, I was like, okay. I want to be with him. I, I, I want to... I want to allow my heart to take this chance. You know, it's like it's been 10 years. <laughs> We've both been on such a journey. And somehow or another, we're connecting again. You know, and it's like, do I deny that or not? But I've been in this thing. And I call it a thing because it's been just that for nearly eight years now. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not, you know, I'm not just out to just hurt nobody's feelings because Kenny loves me. I, I believe that he loves me. He loves me in his way that he knows how to love. How do, how can, let me say it that way. You know, because see, some people that haven't really been shown a lot of love in their life, they don't really know how to give it. They give it their own way. And their way, their, you know, to them, it's like, I love you in this, but their version of, of love could be totally different from your version. Um, we have similarities, but, you know, you done done too much. You have really, really, really done too much. But the thing is, Kenny knows me through and through. He knows everything about me. There's no secrets there's no, there's no filter, okay? And it's like bringing him in. It's like, okay, <clears throat> we need to have a get to know, getting to know you stage. It's going to be a honeymooning period. You're going to say all of the things that I want you to say. I'm going to get a uh, uh, laugh and giggle and grin at some of the bullshit that you say. And it's just going to be that way for a minute. And I understand that. But it's like... I'm just in a... I'm just, man, I'm just in a place. And he's like, he all on some... I want a wife. You know? And I'm... I've been a wife. I've been a wife over 20 years. Being a wife, you know, I... Do I want to be a wife again? Someday, but just not right now. I want to do what I want to do. I want to do what I want to do. And it's probably selfish. It's probably so selfish because, like, Kenny, Kenny feels like, um, you know, I, you know, we, we should make this official and we should be doing this and that and, you know, and all this. I don't want to. I want to do what I want to do. I don't want to, I don't want any rules right now. I'm not saying that I'm going to just be in this place or in this space or in this chapter, shall I say, for a long time. But right now, let me enjoy this. You know, don't, 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 don't ask me for too much too fast. I want to enjoy him. I don't want him to go away. I enjoy the feelings. All of that. And I already know, like, okay, like Saturday he wanted to me, he wanted to come to my house or I come to his house. Well, you know, Kenny was coming in between. Kenny was in Moreno Valley, went to go see his kids, and Kenny was like, okay, well, I'll be, I'm going to be bye bye, whoop de whoop, you know. And then I get a call by him and he's like okay well you know the night is young let's go for a movie let's go eat you know let's go to pf chang's you know let's just go let's 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 go eat some fattening shit and i was like oh my god i want to go do that and then i knew that i had to pick my son up um my son was getting off like um i think anthony had got off at nine o'clock or something you know saturdays are usually early early days so you know they his his shop closes 
and he's off around, I don't know, about 9, 10, or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. He's usually off between that, that time frame. And so I knew that I had to pick him up or he was going to call Lyft or Uber or whatever. But, you know, I had told him that I would pick him up that night. So, and I told him that, you know, don't worry about calling Lyft or anything like that. Just call me when you're ready and Mama be there. So I had already obligated myself for that. And then, you know, he's like, but I want to be with you. And, and, and the last time I was here and everything was so good. And I was like, you know, but my hair came off. And, you know, at this point in time, and at this point in time, I'm just like in tears, emotions flowing. The It's like 151 degrees in here. I'm booty ass naked. I'm in the raw. And this man is just giving me everything that my soul needed at that moment. I got dragon's blood, patchouli, Sandal, uh, saddlewood, something was blowing in the background. I had the yoni egg in, and I was just in my feelings, man. And it's like this man was just hitting me with everything that I needed. And I'm like, okay, what do I do? You know, what do I do? And so, and I'm not a liar, and I'm not good at it. And so he was like, okay, so what, it, what, what, I mean, so, I mean, how, what can I do to make this happen tonight? Like, we can go to the movies. Um, I haven't seen Barbershop. You want to go see it? And I was like, I haven't seen it either, and I want to go see it. And so he was like, well, let's go to the movies. Let's go get something fattening to eat. Let's go to Sonic. Let's go get some fattening food, and let's go to the movies. And I was like, okay. I want to go. I want to be with him. But then Kenny calls me and tells me, Okay, I'm wrapping it up. Me and the kids are watching. What did he say? What was the name of that thing? Kenny had, no, he had texted me. Let me tell you. He had some show. What was the name of this show that Kenny was telling me that they were watching? Hold on. Because I think that's like the same type of stuff my son watches too. A message has been received. This fly is really, really messing with me. Oh, okay, hey babe, watching the Game of Thrones with the kids. I'll be there soon. So the Game of Thrones. So Kenny was watching that with his girls. And I was like, okay, he's coming over. Um, This one right here I want to be with. You know, I want to allow my heart to take that chance. But it's like, how can you open up a, a new door and this window is wide the fuck open? You know, so he asked me point blank. He said, does Kenny have a key to your house? Listen, Friday, and it's funny he said this to me because he said this to me. We had this talk on Saturday. Friday, Kenny comes over. You know, he extra generous. You know, he had just got paid and everything. You know, he came by, blessed me, you know what I mean? Go do whatever you want to do with this right here. And he was like, babe, you know, um, and in the midst of it all, in the midst of all of this, he had brought me some taquitos, guacamole, and beans and rice on the side, extra cheese, all this whole type of shit, you know what I'm saying? Baited me in like a motherfucker just this past Friday. Babe, um... Can I get a key made? Because, you know, there's times when I come or times when I leave and, you know, and, you know, I need to be able to lock up or, you know, or just come in. And, and I was like, he called me slipping. He got a key made to my house. He got a key made. Uh, marinade. He got a key to my house. On Friday, Mr. asked me about this on Saturday. You see how things work? You see how shit just comes around full circle? Girls, it's amazing how shit happens. You know what I'm saying? It's amazing. And I was like, oh my God. And I'm not a liar, so I told him, yes. I told him yes. 
Did it change anything? Not really. <laughs> it didn't change much of nothing. Because he was like, because at first he was like, oh my God, and you know, and you know, why would you do that? And you know, now I'm gonna have to worry about my safety and welfare and, and oh my God, and Tina, you should have never did that. I mean, he just made me feel like this, you know, and which it started dawning on me because actually Tina did catch me slipping on Friday. He baited me in, he came in, you know what I'm saying? And 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 bless me and plus brought me taquitos and beans and rice and extra cheese and guac, you know what I'm saying? Even brought me a bottle of some kind of bullshit pussy ass. What kind of pink Moscato? Bought me a handful of incense and shit. Brought everything that I liked. And then before he hit the damn door, um, baby, uh, can I go and get a key, uh, May? Because, uh, then therefore I could be able to lock up. Because I think he, what was he doing Friday? I think he was going to go get Anthony or something like that. No, no, he wasn't going to go get Anthony. Maybe he was going to go get Isaiah Friday after football practice. Because they're, they're doing like a, a skills thing. And, uh, I think he was going to something, and he, he asked me about that goddamn key, and I'll be damned if right then and there he caught me, he caught me slipping. So then the next day I'm asked this, and it was like, oh my God, it was just, so fast forward. So he was like, um, well, you know, after he, you know, went through his rage, he calmed down and he was like, well, baby, I'm gonna let you handle that. I'm gonna let you handle that. And if you can't handle that, then therefore let me know what I need to do to help you handle that. But you're going to need to handle that because I want to be with you, you know. And um, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. But now you just done put all kind of shit in the gas. <laughs> so now I got that to deal with. So then yesterday, uh, me and Kenny bust up. Kenny takes me down there. I go get me a couple of cones. My phone's ringing. It's him. What do I do? You know, we got some roof back. You know what I'm saying? We on some fantastic voyage. You know what I mean? We rolling out. We all up in Chino and shit. You know, we just rolling out. Phone ringing. It's him. What do I do? I didn't answer. I couldn't. What do I say? You know? So, girls, I mean, y'all help me out. Help a sister out. Help me out. I need y'all right now. You know, I mean, you know, I already know what I need to do. But, you know, I mean, some suggestions, please. Let me go make me some bacon. It's 10-10.